um, within the range of options that the judge had under the law, uh, this is pretty much the best we can hope for. He'll have to, um, he won't be able to drive for a year, and he'll have to retake driver training. Uh, there really wasn't very much the judge could have done uh, because the laws uh, are so weak. We assumed that he would be basically something like manslaughter because he just he was just so negligent. Uh, he was just so incompetent, and he took someone's life. I mean, so we thought the uh, consequences would be very, be very serious. Obviously, like putting him in jail wouldn't bring him back, but this was just kind of when the, when the punishment is so lenient and um, kind of it's more trauma for the family because it makes it seem like it wasn't really that big of a deal. Every case depends on the evidence and I'm, I simply can't comment on what might have been. Uh, certainly now that the legislation is in effect, we'll see how that translates in similar situations. Are you satisfied with the sentence? No sentence, as His Honor alluded to, can adequately capture the tragedy of the situation. Um, so I share that. There's certainly no satisfaction in um, in what was what was handed down today, but that's simply a reflection of how impossible it would be. Uh, as far as the law goes, it was a very, very fair sentence. The, the judge did the best he could with what he had to work with. I'm happy that the laws have changed, not because of us, but because the laws were changing as of September 1st. There's now dangerous driving or careless driving causing death and careless driving uh, causing personal injury. So the maximums that Bishar Musa was facing are now the new minimums. So it will matter that somebody was killed in one of these incidents in the future. Nick just happened to get killed under the old law.